Legion of Sperm. Terprotosperma. Abnormally shaped sperm. I've got bigger problems. Aptinospermia. Reduce sperm motility. Exposure of pregnant females to high levels of lead has resulted in abortion. Lead has been shown to cross the human placenta in large amounts. Following excessive industrial exposure of women to lead, with no neurologic symptoms, the offspring frequently have both an intrauterine and postnatal growth retardation. Lead is an element on the periodic table. Its symbol is PB and it is one of the heavy metals. Lead is a potent neurotoxin that accumulates in the soft tissues and bones. Lead ranks second in the list of prioritized hazardous substances, issued by the U.S. Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry in 1999. Lead's toxicity is largely due to its capacity to mimic calcium and substitute it in many of the fundamental cellular processes that depend on calcium. Lead can cross the cell membrane in various ways, which are not yet entirely understood. Lead can enter the testis and placenta through L-type voltage-dependent calcium channels. Once it has penetrated the cytoplasm, Lead continues its destructive mimicking action by occupying the calcium binding sites on numerous calcium dependent proteins. Lead binds to calmodulin, a protein which in the synaptic terminal acts as a sensor of free calcium concentration and as a mediator of neurotransmitter release. Besides many other functions, the activated kinase directly affects the expression of the immediate early response genes. We do not yet fully understand smoke's effects on human reproduction, or the mechanisms by which it exerts its effects, but cigarette smoking is a leading preventable cause of disease and death. Second-hand smoke as well as smokeless forms of tobacco, are also harmful. With widespread use and exposure, tobacco is clearly the human development toxicant and teratogen, with the greatest overall adverse impact on development in our population. It is estimated that if all the women in the U.S. stopped smoking, there would be an 11% reduction in stillbirths and a 5% reduction in neonatal deaths. However, only about 18-25% to of women smokers quit smoking when they become pregnant. Cigarette smoke contains over 4,000 chemicals constituents and additives including carcinogens, toxic heavy metals, and many chemicals untested for developmental toxicity. Nicotine and carbon monoxide exposure are of large concern. Nicotine and carbon monoxide both rapidly cross the placenta, and with chronic exposure, levels of either or both in the fetal compartment can exceed those in the maternal compartment. Nicotine is clearly a neuroteratogen impacting the brain at critical developmental stages. It is the most likely cause of cognitive, emotional, and behavioral problems seen in the children of smokers. Exposure to cigarette smoke during prenatal and or postnatal development increases the likelihood of addictive behaviors including smoking later in adolescence or adulthood. The development of other organs including the lung is also adversely affected by nicotine. Nicotine binds to receptors through in which important signaling occurs in many developing organs and tissues in addition to the central nervous system. Carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin forming carboxyhemoglobin in both the maternal and fetal blood. Carboxyhemoglobin formation will result in fetal hypoxia, which, if severe enough, is teratogenic and fetotoxic. 
Chronic exposure to carbon monoxide during pregnancy has been repeatedly and consistently associated with decreased birth weight and preterm birth. Studies have estimated an average delay in conception of approximately two months in smokers. It has also been shown that females exposed to parents tobacco smoke in utero or as children, as well as females that smoke themselves have an increased risk of spontaneous abortion in adulthood. Studies have shown that there is a greater than two-fold increase in risk of ectopic pregnancy in women who reported smoking during pregnancy. Maternal smoking alters the blood flow to the placenta and can result in poor perfusion. Compromised placental blood flow can result in poor fetal development. What the deuce? Maternal smoking can result in lower birth weight. Overall studies have shown a possible decrease in birth weight of up to 400 grams. Although children of smokers have been shown to be of lower birth weight than those of non-smokers. Smoking at any time during pregnancy has been associated with higher offspring BMI, total fat mass and an increased risk of obesity. Numerous epidemiology studies support a relationship between developmental tobacco smoke exposure and neurobehavioral effects, including increased physical aggression, antisocial behavior, conduct problems, and an early onset of delinquent behavior. Other neurobehavioral effects observed include attention deficit disorders, hyperactivity, learning disabilities and an increased risk of smoking in later life. More research is needed to better understand the impact of etiology of tobacco-related effects on the maternal-fetal interface throughout pregnancy. Cisplatin cystiamine dichloroplatinum is a potent alkylating agent used in chemotherapy treatment for various cancers including testicular and ovarian. It binds to and cross-links DNA, interfering with mitosis, that leads to apoptosis of the cells. This platinum-containing compound has many side effects such as kidney toxicity and fertility problems. Cisplatin is administered intravenously. Cisplatin mainly enters the body via active transport or passive diffusion and resides in the nucleus. Cisplatin is a neutral square planar complex. Inside the cell, concentrations of chlorine are low and can easily be displaced by water resulting in a charged unstable platinum containing compound. This binds to a position on a purine residue, usually N7 on guanine. A second chloride is then displaced and binds to the next available base on the DNA strand, forming an adduct. This adduct is quite stable as nitrogen stabilizes the compound more effectively than chlorine. This predominantly results in intrastrand linkage as well as interstrand cross-linking. One, two intrastrand cross-links are the most common and intrastrand adducts account for 85 to 90 percent of all lesions. These kinks in the DNA strand are due to the de-stacking of DNA and because the purines are in such close proximity to each other. The cell recognizes this alteration in the DNA strand during replication by a number of damage recognition proteins, including MMR and HMG1 and initiates apoptosis in the oozites. HMG1 is thought to promote cytotoxicity by binding to the DNA adduct and blocking it from repair. Apoptosis is the term given for the process of programmed cell death PCD that occurs in multicellular organisms. It involves a string of biochemical events that lead to characteristic cell morphology and death. These characteristic cell changes include blebbing, changes to the cell membrane asymmetry and attachment, nuclear fragmentation, cell shrinkage, chromosomal DNA fragmentation and chromatin condensation. Cisplatin has been found to cause ovarian failure, and studies of cisplatin treatment in female mice have demonstrated that different types of chromosomal damage are induced, with genetic effects in the oozites resulting in early embryonic mortality and marked aneuploidy. In the male reproductive system cisplatin causes impairment of spermatogenic function. In a study of mice, 
After five days of treatment with the drug there was a decrease of 95% of resting primary sperm autocytes. Also, sperm motility and testicular DNA synthesis was reduced. Stem cell spermatogonia was unaffected therefore there is no danger of permanent sterility.